So, Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the Emperor and it's with the Sun card. Yeah, the Emperor, it shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed, and that's what you need to think about when you get the Emperor in a reading. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration, maintain your focus. The Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time that you'll find it easier. You'll find it easier to make hard choices. Yeah. So, enjoy the assertiveness, enjoy the confidence, and the self-control focus this energy brings. Do what you know is best, because if you can master yourself, then you'll have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. So I guess you're probably asking, what does that mean? Well, it means that the emperor only uses his head, not his heart. So it's easier to make hard choices. Now, it's with the sun card. The sun card, things are going well. Beautiful. You see how the sun card, it pops out over all the cards, actually in the deck. I was going to say this reading, but all the cards in the deck. Even though your finances are likely to be in good shape, this does not mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important. And money is not very high on the list for some of you. I know for a lot of you it is. For me it is. Now, that's just what the Sun Cards explains. But this is also a good time to remember to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, this card can signify that it's right around the corner. So, the recent past energy between you and your person, like I said, the Emperor, and it's clarified with the Sun card. Yeah, so Sagittarius, I'm picking up that a lot of you, you're dealing with someone It felt like this person was cold. Like I said, they didn't... They're the type of person, this emperor, that has a hard time opening up their heart. Or they just won't do it. They never want to come across as being vulnerable. This person could be a boss, a leader, maybe really arrogant. So, they use their head and not their heart. And this could have, could have been one of the reasons that attracted you to this person, because I'm looking at the sun card here. It looks like you're the total, total opposite of this person. For a lot of you, you for the most part, you're always in a good, a good space, a happy place. Your energy is probably high. You're probably always in a good mood or a lot of times, or for the most part you are. Um, your, your energy is warm and inviting. So I'm getting that this is your energy attracted your opposite. Or you were probably drawn to this person because you felt like you could actually be the one that would warm this person up and make them open up their heart. You felt like you could add sunshine to this person's life. Yeah, so you felt like you were this person's light. And you, felt, you probably felt like they needed you. Yeah, because you are the opposite. You're so happy and bright and warm and inviting. And they're closed off cold. They don't show any, any emotion. So, for some of you, you thought you could fix this person or change them. So, that's the recent past energy between you and your person. Now, let's see what's coming up. Well, we got the devil card, and it's with the chariot. Now, the devil card, 
You have to know that no matter what your situation is, that you have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have the feelings that you're not in control of your life. Now, this will sometimes happen as a result of your own actions, but more often it's a byproduct of inaction. So you have to take action, whatever steps you can, to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Because small baby steps, they're very important. Now, it's with the chariot. The chariot indicates a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. It's actually directed and controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So when you get this card, you could be like you could be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Very you would be very determined and ambitious. It's about getting things done, testing and proving that you got what it takes. It's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in your mind and your heart and give it your best shot. But remember you're gonna have to use both your intellect and your heart in order for this to succeed or to be truly successful. So, basically coming up for you and your person, the devil card clarified by this chariot. So, like I said, you feel like you could open up your person and um, add a lot of happy to their life. Because you're so closed off and guarded and emotional, emotional, em, I was going to say emotionalist. Anyway, coming up, you, you might be realizing that their energy is really toxic with this devil card showing up here. This person could have some addictions. Addictions could be anything from greed, envy. Jealousy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust, maybe even drug abuse. Maybe they're alcoholic. They've got some type of toxic devil energy. Now maybe you're just not realizing this, or you will coming up. Or you will be realizing it soon, if you don't know already. So, it's with this chariot here, so you could be planning making a lot of plans probably to to get out of this connection with this person because like I said the chariot is about it's going somewhere it's going really fast and it's got a plan it's got a goal it's already mapped out so you know exactly what you need to do you're ready to do it like yesterday. You're, you're already ready. And you want it to happen now. You want it to happen fast. And I'm getting for a lot of you, you're ready to get out of there. But you got, it seems like you want to plan it carefully. Yeah, because you know this person is toxic. Yeah, so... That is what's coming up. Now, we move on over and we take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Ten of Wands. And it's with the Page of Cups. Now, the Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You might want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you could lighten your load. Either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could find part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally. It actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. Now it's with the Page of Cups, which shows a need to play a dream, have a little fun. When you get this card, it could sometimes mean you've been taking yourself too serious. There was a poet or a writer that once said, The one thing I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious. Now, the first is imperative, and the second can be a disaster. 
So your challenge, Scorpio. Did I say Scorpio? Yeah. Did I say Scorpio? What side am I on? Let's see, I did. I just did. I just did Scorpio. Yeah, this is Sagittarius. I'm sorry, I should have written it down. Yeah, I just did Scorpio. Well, this reading is for whatever sign I said at the beginning. I didn't write it down. My bad. I'm sorry. But, yeah, this is supposed to be whatever sign I said at the beginning. Yeah, those two S's, Scorpio, Sagittarius, I always get it twisted. But anyway, yeah, I just did, let me see, I did Libra and then comes after Libra is Scorpio. Give me one second. Yeah, this is Sagittarius reading. Okay, so sorry about that. I don't want to confuse you guys, so I had to double check. All right, so your challenge, like I said, Ten of Wands, clarified by the Page of Cups. So, yeah, you're ready to get out of this connection, like, like a long time ago or maybe yesterday, and you're ready to do it now. The chariot goes really fast, and it's all mapped out and planned. You see how he's taken off? Terry, it goes 100 miles an hour. Yeah. So, the relationship could start to feel really difficult. You could feel like you're giving too much of your emotional energy to this person. And it might make you feel like they're sucking the life out of you. This person probably thinks that you might just need to loosen up. They might be trying to get you to to come into their their toxic energy. Because there's two people sitting and sitting. If you I don't know if you can see the devil card, but if you take a close look at it, it's the card above the word present. There's two people sitting down at the devil's feet. Below the devil, there's two people, a lady and a man, and they're, they're turning up the bottle, and then you got one man just eating non-stop, and his belly is full, and she's turning up the bottle. So, yeah, we got two turning up the bottles here, because if you look at the page of cups, these three people, page of cups is the card below the word challenge, these three people there, at a park, hanging loose, they're halfway naked, and they're turning up the bottle. Yeah, so that's why I say, this person is trying to get you to come on over to their world. And trying to make you loosen up. But you're not, you're more, you're not really into toxic energy or maybe I don't want to say maybe devilish way something they want to invite you in or, or entice you to or entrap you to bring you over to their to their devilish world because yeah they think you should loosen up have some fun. You're ready to get out. Like I said, like yesterday. You've already got it mapped out. You're just trying to figure out how to do it. The relationship is starting to feel really heavy. This person is sucking the life out of you. So we move on over and we take a look and see what the outcome is. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And it's with a tower. Now, the Seven of Pentacles can be a card about 
returns on investments. This can be literal, maybe a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you've put into a relationship. It can be about reaping what you've sown. Now, this is positive. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while, and things will be moving along. And you'll be feeling more hopeful about the future with a good cause. You might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. Now, to the Tower card, which is about holding on too tightly to the status quo, this can be a disaster, because you have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people, situations that you have counted on, as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic. Because we all know change. Change is actually the nature of life. So if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this may be the time that some of them come crashing down, and that's only a problem if you let it be, because you can replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. So, the outcome for you, Sagittarius, yeah, I'm going to stick with that, this is Sagittarius. The outcome for you is um, Seven of Pentacles. Clarified by the tower. So, yeah, it looks like, it looks like things come crashing down with you and this person. Yeah, it looks like it could be falling apart. But the good thing about the tower is that you're enlightened by this da disaster. Or your person, maybe they're enlightened by this disaster. Or maybe the both of you are. Yeah, you come to realize, you come to a realization. Yeah, you're no longer wearing rose-tinted glasses. You're no longer seeing things through rose-tinted glasses. You're no longer in a fantasy world. You're no longer feeling like you need to fix this person because you're there happy. Yeah, you're enlightened in, in a lot of other ways. Like I said, they could be enlightened also. Maybe they realize that they, they need to change. And because we got the Seven of Pentacles here with this tower, yeah, there's something else you're going towards. And... It's showing that you're going to be putting in a lot of energy and effort towards it. Could be a new person, could be a new situation or something that you're going towards. And you're going to try to make it work, whatever this is. And it's showing that it will work. Because if you look at the Seven of Pentacles, this lady, she, Seven of Pentacles is a card above the word outcome. She's uh, watering a plant. She had it ever since it was a little tiny, teeny baby. She could hold it in the palm of her hand. Now the plant is about 8 feet tall, maybe 10 feet tall. The leaves are dark and green and rich in color. Very healthy. She gets up every morning and every night before she goes to bed to take care of it. Yeah, and she's now she's reaping the rewards. Reaping the benefits of the time and energy that she put into this plant. So this is you. You're going towards something that you can reap the rewards. You're no longer trying to fix other people. Yeah. So you're going toward things that you feel that you know or think that they'll really work. Or you could be having someone... Maybe someone else is putting that energy into you. Trying to make something really work with you. But for a lot of you, you're focusing on something different. 
something that you really want to make work. So, Sagittarius, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So. Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind if you're not dealing with anyone romantically when you get these readings, your person could actually be a family member. It could be a friend, or they could be. A, it could be a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. You could be them, or they could be you. And I say all this because these are general readings; they're not personal readings. So you have to take the reading for however it resonates. So Sagittarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.